What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another interview edition of Learn Crypto. My name is Nick Hellman, and today I have with me Carlos, the CTO of Strudel Finance, the first one-way trustless bridge linking Bitcoin and Ethereum. How are you doing today, Carlos? Doing great. How about you, Nick? Pretty good. It's nice weather finally, getting out of the winter a little bit, so I'm going <laughs> to get catch some sun after this, hopefully. So uh, what, is, what is Strudel Finance? All right, so like you, you said it uh, perfectly, it's the first trustless one-way bridge for Bitcoin into Ethereum, right? So let's break that down. What does that mean? Um, so most people, maybe most people that watch your show already have Bitcoins, right? And they've had their Bitcoins for quite a while. And people who have had Bitcoins for a while know that there's not really much that you can do with them. I mean, you can go and margin trade them. You can you can take them to exchange or take them to your wallet, but that's pretty much it, right? Because it's just a transactional layer. Um, and Bitcoin, but Bitcoin is a great store of value, so you all have a lot of value in holding that Bitcoin, right? So what we want with bridges is to be able to Bitcoin for Bitcoin holders to be able to bring their Bitcoins into a system where their value can be unlocked. And was it, what does that mean? Uh, it means being able to use it uh, in decentralized finance, basically. And decentralized finance let, lets you have a decentralized exchange, which is uh, pretty important to get those low cap uh, new coins that, that are being like launched every day, or just being able to deposit your Bitcoin and have it for collateral uh, so that you can keep the exposure, but unlock the value to buy something else, right? because you can get loans against, against stable coins, against the dollar, which is only deflating. So you're okay having loans against Bitcoin with collaterals because it's a great collateral. Um, and th from then on, there's a lot of use cases around Ethereum and, and all day you're hearing about new ways of, of using money and, and like uh, making it work for you and get passive income and yield farm it and so on and so forth, right? So, uh, the solution that people have right now are mostly, and what people know mostly in Ethereum are wrapped Bitcoins. And I think everyone has seen them, they're pretty ubiquitous. And there is a small problem with them, and even Vilik has addressed this, where you actually are giving your Bitcoins to someone who are, and that it's an institution who sets up these multi-sig wallets uh, that they, they fill, and they issue one-to-one -one wrapped Bitcoins against them, right? So people, if they don't have the correct price on Ethereum network, they can just go and unwrap them and sell them, right? But the pro there's a trust issue there because uh, the custodians uh, and the multi-sig setup is uh, like, it's pretty small. It's like on Bitcoin, you can have a top number of multi-signatories that it's like 12 people. Uh, so you can't have a really big, robust multi-signature wallet and the problem with Bitcoin is that the top end is, is always going to keep going up, right? So it's going to keep getting more and more valuable. And eventually it's going to be like a risk uh, opportunity for, for people to just go and say, okay, I'm going to collude with these 12 guys to take out these Bitcoins. And it can, it, can, it can possibly happen like 100 years from now, right? But if that's our only option, we don't have many many avenues right and and right. that could be a real risk so it sounds so, like you guys are kind of creating a way for people to take their bitcoin holdings their hodl bag whatever and kind of mm -hmm. bringing bitcoin to DeFi and right. allowing people to start utilizing their bitcoin holdings to possibly earn more yield on those bitcoin uh and they're right kind and of doing it in a way that has less custodial risk because you're going to be using smart contracts on right. ethereum to do that right and yeah and i'm gonna go uh, down to the through the story of of why we have to do it this way because it's it's a pretty most Bitcoin holders find the process we do pretty intense because we actually burn the bitcoins right so we're gonna get there uh, so I was talking about like wrapped wrapped bitcoins and then so you got this trust issue so there's already products trying to solve this and there's things like ren right and ren is doing what's called a trust minimized bridge right. Trust minimized bridge is one where the person holding the bitcoins has to put in more collateral than what the coins are worth, so that game theory wise, it's not 
it's not viable for him. He would be losing money, right? Because it's less money in inside the outside and inside. And this this works great, uh, like to a scale. But the problem is that it doesn't scale, uh, because the more bitcoins you wrap, the more collateral you need. And then you go back to this problem where if you have if they're too valuable, then you you need the wrappers to be more valuable than the whole bit the the, the entire amount of bitcoins for for it to be worth it and then bitcoins don't have a point because if there's something else that's more valuable right? right so you're back to square one now what strule does is that we take the bitcoins and we send them uh to we mark them with what's called an up return code which essentially burns them it doesn't let them be traded again on the bitcoin chain right we also put in the address of the person of the, the Ethereum address of the person who's doing it so that they get issued the same amount of Bitcoins that they burn. So it's one to one always. Right. Mm -hmm. So the point is that it's not that we're burning the, the Bitcoins because the burning, the Bitcoins are not being destroyed because you cannot destroy Bitcoins. You can, you can just like put them somewhere that they can't be moved again. But they're there and they're whole and they're just as valid because they count in the market cap of Bitcoin, right? They're part of the 21 million. So what you get on Ethereum is a proof of that burn, which is like a proof of ownership, which you can trade to someone else and use it on the whole ecosystem. So for anyone who understands the principles, the economic principles of Bitcoin, the proof of ownership is should be worth exactly the same as the Bitcoin it represents, right? Right. Because the only way to, to get another one is to get some Bitcoin and burn them, right? right. So, uh, so they're not being destroyed. We're not breaking them. We're just putting them some in a in a in, we're chain. It's like do you see the news about the Bansky that was just burned? Yeah. To be sure, it's the same exact same thing. The thing wasn't destroyed because the yard can't be destroyed. It exists. But now the proof of ownership exists on Ethereum, and that's the only way it can be traded. So it's it's more valuable now because right. it's it's a decentralized platform, right? So that's and and the thing is that the peg just relies on the market realizing this, right? Because right now those bitcoins are trading, I think, at thirty two thousand dollars. So if you're a Bitcoin person, and I told you that you could buy bitcoins for thirty two thousand dollars. You would jump at them right now, right, right. Because we're at, there, Bitcoin's no, at fifty-three thousand. Right, right. So that's the only thing that needs to happen for the peg to exist, for people to say these are undervalued bitcoins, and just go and buy them because they're 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 in Uniswap, right? So on top of that, what we're doing as a protocol is making it so that the these bitcoins are accepted in other protocols right so right now we already ex we we have our biggest pool is on uniswap we have a, a, a large pool there uh we are starting to have pools on, on sushi swap and we have a balancer pool too so you can trade uh on and the point is that once you are on one decentralized exchange you can route to any other pair in that exchange so you can take your bitcoins and, and trade them against anything basically now and then now we've added some some other functionalities which, which are pretty cool which we just released uh basically yesterday which is uh that we are now issuing a stable coin okay. so if you're holding this bitcoin uh you can get some us dollars usdc and make the what we call the one bbtc which is a a token which is a stable coin worth one dollar each which is made by 90 cent 97 cents of of usdc and like three cents of bit of wrapped bitcoin of our strudel bitcoin right okay so what happens is that the holder mints a little bit to create their like branded stable coin and they can gain gain passive income on that by staking it for liquidity and soon we're going to launch our own stable collateral pair so you can come with your bitcoins deposit them and take a loan with our branded uh, branded Strudel bitcoins, and and use that to exchange on on the centralized network. Or if you want, you can get a bunch of Strudel like uh, 
uh, dollars and gain an interest on them by by paying by being the the one paying for the loans, right? Right. So if I take so, my if I take my Bitcoin and then move it with Strudel Finance to get the IOU wrapped Bitcoin on mm -hmm, Ethereum, mm -hmm. is that ever redeemable to go backwards, or is that Bitcoin that's, always going to exist on Ethereum's network? That's always going to exist on the Ethereum network, but once we get the market to understand our value proposition, uh, it we should and will trade one to one to Bitcoin on the price. So what you can do is go and trade it for a wrapped Bitcoin or a rent Bitcoin and claim a Bitcoin there from those services. Right. So if you're done using the wrapped Bitcoin, the Strudel Bitcoin uh, mm -hmm. in DeFi, then there might be somebody on the other end that's willing to trade you right. a, a right. Bitcoin for your Strudel Bitcoin. Mm -hmm. Right, which is a Bitcoin for Bitcoin trade. And, uh, and the thing is that uh, there's a lot of services that will stabilize those trades, but you have to get to the market to accept you first. It's a market acceptance thing that once you get past that, it's just, there's no way you can break the peg because there's always right. someone willing to buy it at the, if it's on their peg because it's not the, the port, arbitrage right? opportunity. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it sounds mm -hmm. like moving to Sushi, then you, you're starting to get the eyes of some bigger names in the space maybe sam has seen the project or whatever it may be and hopefully that can start to get some recognition and get that paid yeah in yeah and and you know what i i have people who are always i'm from the start i think this project is very beautifully designed uh i didn't make the bridge originally i, I was just a very early investor and 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 i just kept giving my inputs on how to improve it to where it's now so I, I've taken this role uh, over time. And, uh, but the, the basic principle of why we're doing this is, is super clear for me and why it's important because the vision, and you are already like, like on Binance chain already, right? So the thing that's going to happen to, to tokens is that they're gonna be bridged out of Ethereum, but not back to the Bitcoin chain. They're gonna be bridged to Binance and they're gonna be bridged back to to like everywhere else and you really want to have the source to be guaranteed right right because you don't have to you don't want to worry that 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 the, the price collapse because all the the multi-signatures that are dead and you can't redeem anymore or whatever for someone like took all the bitcoins out of one rent master node and then the trust is broken there or the or rent gets super expensive and then just no one knows what to do because it's suddenly flipped Bitcoin and it doesn't make sense. And then you have this one and, and our real Bitcoin, the cool thing about not needing capital to be able to, to secure it is that the value that we generate, we can pay it to the holder. So we're the only Bitcoin that's actually paying you to provide liquidity. Right. And, and we're paying like 600% APY. That's crazy. For LP Bitcoin Ethereum, which is the best LP to have. So what's what's the way that people get involved? I know that you guys also have your own native cryptocurrency, which is the TRDL token. Where right, does that come into right. place and how do people get involved? You talked about 600% APY. You know, how do you get involved? Do you need to buy TRDL? Do you need to just move Bitcoin to um, um, sort of find right. it? So how, do, how does somebody do it from zero to 100? Right. So there's a... The cool thing about the system is that there's a lot of ways to participate. Uh, first, at the mo uh, currently we're trying to secure the peg, which is getting the bridge to the stable uh, like price, so that people who have bitcoins want to wrap more. We currently ha we currently have uh, 22 bitcoins wrapped already. Um, so if you want to participate right now, what you can do is actually wrap buy undervalued bitcoins. Like if you agree with what we're saying here, it's like okay, these Bitcoins are worth what what all the other Bitcoins are worth. So let's buy some because it's an easy like 50% trade. If it goes, it's going to go to 60K soon. So if, if it's like 32,000, you get a bunch, you go to 60,000, sell there, it's 2X easy. And it's the easiest risk reward because the bridge is secure. It, it's been working for months now, so it's not going to break. And, and, and nothing is going to make the Bitcoins you're buying less scarce. Right. Because there's no way to make more unless you bring Bitcoin. So it's the easiest 50% trade. Like, like what's the risk? So like, somebody, if somebody wanted to do that, they would go to Uniswap 
And there's gonna be any swap and just buy some on on this true little ETH pair, and then you have some of that, right? And then the cool thing is that uh, once the peg, when it's closer to a peg, and like a bit closer, you've made some profit, you can uh, add that Bitcoin into the liquidity pool. You can sell half and add it to the liquidity pool, and the Strudel protocol will pay you in Strudels for providing liquidity. So you're getting Strudels every day. Uh, the more Bitcoin you put in, the more strudels you get. So then you have a bunch of strudels that you can use for a lot of things, which include uh, using them for governance. So if you, you want to, you can bond your strudels into governance strudels. And then you can also provide liquidity with those strudels and get a, get paid like daily in that. So if you just get in with a little bit of money, uh, I mean, gas is expensive, but like traders manage like a significant amount and you farm for a bit, you can start compounding into a bag and you can keep, and you're getting paid money. You can get paid strudels, which are like $4 each right now. And you can go and buy more Bitcoin with that. And you can help the protocol by just being a Bitcoin buyer. I mean, if you told Michael Saylor that, that, that you had $30,000 Bitcoins, he's, he's going to buy them all. Right. So, so you're getting paid daily to buy bitcoins and keep supporting the peg and then we have all this protocol around it with the stable coins and the arbitrage opportunities by arbitrage the stable coin and and then we're gonna have uh the lending solutions so uh the strudel gov the strudel token is basically the one paying uh people the incentives for helping secure the peg, which is a very, like it's adding value to the chain, right? Right, so essentially you would, well, it sounds like you would go to Uniswap, you would get the uh, Strudel Bitcoin, mm -hmm. the wrap Bitcoin. And then once you start earning your TL, TRDL tokens, you can actually use those to then buy more Strudel Bitcoin, which eventually is gonna get you to the peg you guys are looking for. Right, Make right. Bitcoin on the way there. Right. Pretty interesting. And and then you get, and then you get all these cool opportunities by being able to take that and get a loan against it. So you don't even have to sell your bitcoins, and you can buy something else. You can buy sushi. You can, and also you We right now have opportunities to get passive income, not only in strudels, but you can get yielded sushi at the onsen uh, bar, which we just launched. Uh, so you can go and, and bring your strudel uh, Ethereum and get yielded uh, sushi, or bring your one BBTC, which is our stablecoin, and get yielded sushi. And also we have another project called TWA, which is the adventure token, which did an index fund uh, that we are included. That it made basically an index fund of all of our tokens, and they included that in one of their yield farm ones. Interesting. Yeah, I'm looking right now on Uniswap. That's why I keep looking over here. It looks like Stru the TRDL token, the Strudel token is a little over four bucks, but your VBTC right now is 32,600 with the Bitcoin price now at 53,900. So if you guys like what you're hearing and you believe in the bridge. And like you said, it's been running for a few months and now it's getting added to Sushi, which we know they probably did some due diligence there. You're looking at a $21,000 gap uh right. arbitrage opportunity there between vbtc and btc and yes right. right now you're taking a little bit of a risk because you're essentially burning your bitcoin to get the vbtc on ethereum and you're not right. going to be able but, to go back right now but once right. the peg occurs there is going to be a one-to-one -one trading so if you're done with ethereum and the DeFi space you should be able to then swap from B right. vbtc to standard on-chain btc and uh hopefully by then you would have reaped the reward of of the arbitrage of earning TRDL tokens and using those all within the ecosystem. So, right. I think it's yeah, really interesting. Also, it's important to note that people who are, if we're under the peg right now, just by buying, like just have some Ethereum and turn it into VBTC, you don't have to, to, to bridge your Bitcoins yet. You can start bridging when we have achieved the peg and, and we can start having those Bitcoins come in and you get a shrill incentive for crossing the bridge so we're actually paying you to bridge that but we want to do that once we have a really solid liquidity pool here so our first mission right now is to secure the peg by by having the buyer side uh available and and ready so the message is 
these are underpriced bitcoins go i mean go buy them and then bridge then you have all these opportunities to bridge that's awesome well i think you know we kind of covered everything I, I just wanted to summarize what i just did just so people can get the you know inside scoop on how they can participate and yeah like he said you don't even have to uh, burn your own Bitcoin if you don't want. Go to Uniswap and get VBTC with your Ethereum just like you would any other token and start participating uh, in the network or just wait for the peg for the 50% trade. Uh, so I think it's yeah. really interesting. Is there anything else that you really want to discuss? Is there anything upcoming for Strudel Finance? Any more listings? Any more uh, things going on behind the scenes? Um, well, we now are in a stage where we want to see the system move because we have been working really hard to update the web page where it's at now and, and do some tweaks in the system to get it to a point where we think it's a complete system with a weight, a counterweight that can hold a peg for a sustained period of time. So right now we are focused on telling people about it going out and saying okay this works this is this is something that we should consider and that it has a very big uh place in the tokenized bitcoin space so by at, at this moment we're just focused on that and, and growing the community and then the community is already participating with some incredible um ideas on what we can do and that's the main thing that's like uh the value that we bring it onto the chain uh, we want to share it with the community because they're the ones that are supporting the peg. So it's about having more people join in and, and ask what can we do with this uh, value that's been generated to make great things. And and I think that at, at this moment, we have shown that we can integrate with our protocols and that, that there's interest. So we're just super excited to see where this is going in the next few weeks. Right. And I'm excited too. Now I need to take a look. Maybe before it releases, I need to take a better look at BTC <laughs> here and see the arbitrage opportunity. Uh, yeah. So if you guys want to learn more, this is just the first video. I'm sure I'll get you guys back on here if myself and my community starts participating more with Strudel Finance. Um, definitely take a look at strudel.finance, which is their web page. Looks pretty good, summarizes things very well, and kind of walks you through the step by step process of how to start and how to get involved. Anything yeah. else, Carlos? No, thanks for having me, Nick. It's been a pleasure. I hope we can be here again. Uh, we have a big group of people. Uh, they all love your your community. Uh, um, yeah, we hope that we can have you in the nerd chat too. We have a chat just for nerds. I'm sure you'll fit right in. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to give you some governance ideas or something. <laughs> thanks, for sure. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Hit that like and subscribe button and stay tuned for your daily updates on cryptocurrencies right here at Learn Crypto. Hey, what's going on guys? So to add on to the video I just did with Strudel Finance, hopefully you understand what's going on there. You're looking at strudel.finance to learn more. Now let's say you just want to get started. You like what you see as far as the contract, the protocol, and the peg uh, that VBTC is trying to acquire by getting up to BTC. VBTC right now is around 36,000 while Bitcoin is 53,000. So they're trying to get that peg together. It is slowly getting closer. Uh, and of course, bringing Bitcoin to DeFi. What do you do? After talking to Carlos, when the video recording is done, he said, he told me about the Zerion. The Zerion looks like an all-in-one DeFi dashboard. So you can easily get involved uh, via APIs to get the best possible price for a lot of DeFi projects, LP tokens, and get all of your pools and earnings in one location. So I, I checked it out. It's pretty nice. Now, what can you do? You can go right here and do ETH slash VBTC. This is going to be the LP token for the VBTC pool. You can click on it. Of course, you have to understand the caution just like you do on Uniswap. You'll connect your MetaMask and you can buy the LP token directly right here. So this LP token is half Ethereum and half VBTC and you can see the price is $16,615. This kind of skips the step of buying the VBTC and then putting it into the pool with Ethereum. As we do know, Ethereum fees are quite high, so any transaction I can save you guys uh, all adds up. So this is a way to just jump right into it, buy the LP pool tokens, skip the other transactions. You with me? So now you got your Ethereum and VBTC pool LP tokens by buying them with Ethereum or whatever it may be right here on the Zerion dashboard. Now what do you do with them? You see these LP tokens in your MetaMask wallet, 
So you're you're already banking that VBTC is going to raise twenty thousand dollars and meet the peg of Bitcoin, but that's not enough. We want to earn more APY. We want to get involved with the ecosystem and, and start earning while we're waiting for that op, that arbitrage opportunity to play out. So what do we do? Head over to strudel.finance. This is the homepage. New website looks great. Learn before you do anything. Of course, they summarize it great. But we already have our LP tokens. We already believe in it. So what are we doing? We're gonna hit go to dashboard. This is going to bring you to the dashboard. And once you connect your wallet, it's going to tell you how much VBTC you have, how much TRDL you have, et cetera, et cetera, right? But you're actually going to go to Terra Farms. Once you unlock, you're going to see all the opportunities. You can actually stake those LP tokens. So the Ethereum and VBTC LP, LP tokens can be staked to start earning you TRDL, which is the Strudel token, daily. Whenever you feel like you have enough, you know, Ethereum fee is pretty high, you can then claim those TRDL tokens, which are trading for over $4 per token right now. Now, what do you do with those? Well, ideally, to play the arbitrage the best, you'll take those TRDL tokens and you'll swap them for more VBTC until the peg is met. Why? You're betting on the peg is going to occur and you're essentially rolling those free TRDL profits into an undervalued Bitcoin. If enough people start doing this, the peg will be met. Now one VBTC equals one Bitcoin. You can use your Bitcoin in all DeFi. And once you're done with it, you can then swap it for one on-chain BTC. And the ecosystem Strudel Finance has been striving to create will finally be in full force. So you bought a Bitcoin. Is there really something you can do with it? Bitcoin is all over the news these days. Like many savvy investors, you might already have purchased Bitcoin a long time ago, and you have been faced with one ugly truth. The network is slow. You have to rely on centralized services to trade, and there are no smart contracts on the BTC network. Did you ever imagine a trustless bridge linking Bitcoin and Ethereum? Do you want to know how it works and why it's better than holding your Bitcoin in that old, outdated network? If you want to know, stick around for this video to learn more about Strudel Finance. Strudel is the first one-way, trustless bridge linking Bitcoin and Ethereum. VBTC, the resulting asset, trades off counterparty risk for market risk, bringing more diversity to the tokenized BTC landscape. In the long term, Strudel Finance is about using the forces of crypto economics to challenge the status quo of blockchain and free BTC from the grip of Wall Street. Strudel works in a way that by using the Strudel dApp, Bitcoins are burned and marked with the Strudel protocol identifier. The burn transaction is then relayed to Ethereum, issuing VBTC in the exact ratio of 1 to 1. The only difference of using Bitcoin other than VBTC is that there is really not much you can do with the Bitcoin. The network is slow, outdated, and relies on centralized services to trade with no smart contracts. Decentralized finance allows people to be their own bank. They can gain interest on their assets, get loans, and trade without having to relinquish control of their tokens. For Bitcoin to participate in these protocols, it needs to be wrapped into the Ethereum chain in order to be compatible. A wrapped token is really an IOU that is emitted into the Ethereum network for every BTC deposited into a wrapper protocol. The use of Strudel Finance is better than any of the other Bitcoin wrapper protocols, such as WBTC and RenBTC, because these protocols rely on multi-sig setups to hold the BTC. This poses a security risk because Bitcoin multisigs are capped to around a dozen signers. This means that there is a real possibility of them colluding to remove the underlying value of the wrapped BTC, causing the loss of the peg and a value collapse. The Strudel protocol addresses this issue by achieving a trustless BTC wrapper. You do not have to rely on a group of people to hold the keys to the Bitcoins because the wrapping procedure burns the BTC in order to create a VBTC, which is fully compatible with the Ethereum ecosystem. Strudel is looking to revolutionize the way you can link your Bitcoin in the Ethereum network and steal the market share of its current competitors by proposing the better, trustless, decentralized option of the market. So what are you waiting for? Enter the Strudel and join the party.